Chuz Birthday Party, Dua, Tay Savage, Little Reese, O Block E Dog, and a lot of other No Limit guys, Lamb Ron, and all that. I'm pretty sure you guys all saw how they were celebrating last night, and shots rang on. 2,000 deep in a little ass apartment, two girls and a thousand niggas. I thought parties were supposed to be like bitches, you know what I'm saying, twerking, ready to get some ass for the night type shit. You got a thousand niggas in the crib, me mugging. Dudes by the wall, looking like they don't want nobody to walk by them. You know what I mean? You got E-Dog, happy as fuck, bumping to everybody. You know how many face cards were at that party? If the ops would've got the location to that, you get somebody at the party who getting his feelings over some stupid shit and he just drops the load, boom. You know what I mean? Listen, man, I'm sure that if they got that many face cards in the house, old block got dudes outside posted up. I'm sure Chubbs and them got dudes outside posted up. I'm sure they all got some type of protection outside the house posted up. Cause I'm, there's no way you telling me that all them face cards is in that apartment, right? And you got nobody outside posted up. You got nobody around the block on the other side of the street posted up. You know what I mean? You can't have that many face cards in the house and not have that type of post outside for protection, keeping an eye on what's coming or going and who's outside or whatnot. I'm sure you gotta have people all around posted up, keeping an eye out for the ops, right? My thing is this though. My thing is this though, Tay Savage, you got no business being in no house party in the middle of the rap. You got a record deal, man. You get into the bag, you doing your thing. This is how and why we keep hearing of rappers, you know, getting a deal and then shot and killed back in their hood. Don't we constantly hear this shit, especially coming out of Chicago? Dudes need to learn how to stay out the way. Once you got that foot halfway in the door, stay the fuck out the way, man. Where is, why is nobody giving you guys this type of advice? Who is, who is helping you guys? Who's managing you guys? Who's the who, who's the guy around with the brains that's gonna tell you, listen now, nah, man, we ain't got no business going to that party, man. If we ain't gonna do this party somewhere where it's professionally done, you know what I mean? We could rent a place and shit. And shit, it's always go left, man. Dudes in the hood don't know how to act. You gotta stay away. You gotta love from a distance. I'm sorry, it is what it is, man. You can't bring everybody with you. Not everybody's ready to go to the next level. When you're up next to go to the next level, you can't bring everybody with you. It's, it, it just, it is what it is. It happens. It's okay. They're probably going to call you fake. They're going to say you're not real. But guess what? You can look back five, ten years from now, and they're going to be the dead or in jail, and you're going to be accomplishing your goals. You're still going to be moving ahead, getting things done. You know what I mean? Thanking God that you're not in jail or somewhere dead right and this is what happens a lot of the time man you want to keep it real with your loved ones you want to keep it real with your hood with your niggas you don't want to feel like you're the fake one like you're the one that's leaving niggas for dead and you're not like that you're not going to be like the rest of these niggas that just leave the hood and just forget about the hood right i'm sorry to say man but the hood don't love you man the minute they feel like you're not worth nothing to them they're going to snake your ass out it is what it is man it's proven time after time when you locked up in that cell right think about it when you locked up in that cell who be there for you who come see you who send you bread that's what you got to remember when you locked up in that cell on Ted savage you just came home from doing a stretch so you should know this all these niggas were your niggas when they seen you in jail when you guys was doing time together yeah you guys got memories from you know holding it down together while y'all was in there together but once they came home who was there for you you know what i mean it is what it is. You got no business being there. Little Reese, you got, I don't even know what to say to you. You got so many chances in life that the day I hear, God forbid, something happened to you, I'm not even going to be shocked. You know what I mean? I'm sure it's going to be breaking news because you're part of the drill history or whatnot. You know what I mean? But I, I don't report it on you so much. We already kind of experienced feeling like Little Reese got killed or close to being killed, right? So it's not gonna be the same when it happens to Lil Reese. He's just gonna be like, oh shit, like, damn. Like, dude didn't learn his lesson, you know what I mean? How many chances did he get? One thing I did notice, there was some real nigga shit. Notice how Dua made sure he protected Chubbs the whole time. He stood right in front of that man the whole time, making sure that he was good with his pull out, you know what I mean? Like, all he did was, it is what it is. A lot of people talking about what Tay Savage did, what he didn't do. What, whatever the case may be. Listen, man, you hearing shots. What are you supposed to do? 
that's the thing. You're not supposed to just start shooting because you hear shots. You don't even know where the shots is coming from. It sounded like the shots is coming from the next room, somewhere in the hallway, somewhere outside. Word is that it was something between No Limit and O Block or whatever the case may be. Who knows? You do know that there is some static between them. I don't care if it's true that Time Money did do it to Juby's little brother, whether it's true or not. The word, the seed was already planted that he has something to do with that, right? So you get niggas getting high, get under the influence, you know what I mean? You get the other one feeling like the other one is looking at him the wrong way. He feels some type of way. Who the fuck that be? I don't give a fuck who that nigga is. He don't know who I am. He better ask somebody next to you know. You know, here goes the guns. That's how it be. When these niggas know you playing with guns, nobody's waiting to see who's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's waiting to see who's gonna fight. You know these niggas is moving like this. And that's the bad thing about having reputation of being a gunslinger. Niggas ain't gonna wait to see if you're gonna swing. Niggas is gonna pull out and do that thing quick. They're not waiting to see what's next. And when you got these dudes that all gunplay, that be all quick to wanna pull out and shoot, it's crazy, man. I got niggas that's so trigger happy and quick to wanna pull that thing out. They don't shut their baby mother car up arguing with her. All types of crazy shit. That's cause that's just what they all do. They don't know how to do nothing else. You know what I mean? But to pull out that thing and let go. Cause that's all they do, that's all they know. It's crazy that that's all you know how to do when you get mad. It's just like when a kid got anger problems and all you wanna do is throw shit, right? The same thing when it comes to these kids, man. They get mad, they get under the influence, the first thing you wanna do is pull out and shoot. You know what I mean? Whether it's the car, whether it's somebody. Notice, this is a video that went viral not too long ago. You got the kid that left his man's outside the car and he pulled off and he was playing around with him. What the kid do? Pulled out his gun and pulled it out on his man. Think about it, that's supposed to be his man. He playing games with him and he's leaving him behind, making him run to get in the car. He get mad, he start pulling out his gun. That's supposed to be your man. Well, he just made him mad enough to want to pull out that gun. Y'all be, be playing way too much with them guns, man. Y'all be way too quick to want to wave them guns at each other like nothing. That's just crazy to me, man, because if you could pull out a gun on me in a quick second just because you're mad over some stupid shit, that just goes to show how quick I could take your life because I'm not waiting to see if you're going to shoot. You pull out thing, I'm squeezing. It's just crazy, man, because a lot of these kids, they don't know no different. They don't know no better. And it's going to take a whole lot for this shit to go away, to change. You know what I mean? Only a few is going to make it. Only a few lucky ones are going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, get it and make it the fuck up out of it. And the rest of them, they're just going to end up dead or in jail, man. Sad, but it's the truth. Say Savage, you was crazy for still being in the hood. Get the fuck up out of there. And the rest of them, they just, they're stuck in the hood. That's all they know. I, I don't know what else to say, right? Y'all know what we coming to do, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Push you to the sh kid. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my